Hi, I'm Bill Cook from University of Arizona Cooperative Extension here in Greenlee County. We've been doing some soil mixing and we've talked about the different soil mixes. Um, one of the components of the soil decision is field capacity. How much water will that hold? For example, we've been mixing this soil to start cuttings in. One of the parameters is that it needs to hold water, enough water, long enough for that plant to root out without the addition of further water which would flush the root hormone out of the soil. So just here's just a little example of what field capacity is. So here is a container, a one gallon container of dry soil. And the dry soil in this and the container weighs about two pounds. Maybe a tad under. Now I'm going to take that and I am going to put this container on. This container has been soaked and allowed to drain. It's still dripping a little, but most of the water has flushed through. So what we have here is field capacity. That is the amount of water that remains after it has drained. And you'll see this is darn near five pounds. So this, this container actually holds probably, what, three pounds of water, three pints. So that's field capacity. How much water remains after the pot is drained?